Uh, to distinguish between catalysts, you either have homogeneous or heterogeneous. Heterogeneous catalyst has a phase other than reactants. If your reactants are gases, your catalyst is solid, most probably. Uh, so that's how to distinguish. Now, how do they work? Their functionality is based on a phenomenon known as adsorption. Adsorption is affinity for the surface. You sit on it and you get, uh, you do not go through that sort of membrane or surface. Uh, now what happens, usually the atoms of reactants have affinity for that surface. They sit on it and their bonds loosen up so you can form new bonds. Uh, one example that I want to give you is decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. It's aqueous. So one catalyst we can use as heterogeneous other than aqueous is manganese 4 oxide, MnO2 solid. So this is heterogeneous catalyst. And then it decomposes into 2H2O liquid plus oxygen gas. Now I'm giving you this example in order to get across a homogeneous catalyst which this time it will take part in the reaction and then it separates out. So I'm going to give you the same hydrogen peroxide and this time I give you the overall reaction. So 2H2O2 aqueous. Instead of giving you a solid, I'm going to give you something that is also aqueous as a catalyst and that makes it homogeneous, potassium iodide. Same reaction almost the same speed as the other catalyst and give you this. Now what I'm going to do is give you uh, details of this reaction known as mechanism. So mechanism in this chapter is giving detailed step-by-step -step reactions involved. There are two steps within this overall reaction. So step one is a hydrogen peroxide is going to react with my catalyst. And instead of potassium iodide, I'm going to write just iodine. So just remember that potassium iodide aqueous is going to be represented as iodine aqueous because potassium is spectator ion. So I'm going to put iodine aqueous here. That's my catalyst. And then it gets involved in the reaction, gives me one molecule of H2O liquid, plus a new species, which is IO minus aqueous. The second step, step number two, I'm going to get rid of this newly formed species IO minus, which we are going to call it intermediate. So IO minus is going to react with another molecule of H2O2 to give you the catalyst back. I minus comes back to life plus one more molecule of H2O liquid plus one molecule of O2 gas. Now if you add these two reactions, you will get your overall reaction back. Overall. Now let's see what we can cross out. The species that you use at beginning and then you produce it at where very end is definition of a catalyst. So this is my catalyst. It speed up the reaction and it can be uh, retrieved. Now the species that also you produce in one step and you consume in the next step is known as intermediate. Not a catalyst, but something known as intermediate. Eventually, in this chapter, we get a little bit more into this. Now, what do I have left? I have one molecule of H2O2 and another one, so that makes two H2O2 aqueous. On the other side, on the right-hand side, I have two molecules of water, H2O liquid, plus one molecule of oxygen. So this reaction comes to life. Therefore, this is example of homogeneous catalyst which took part in my reaction and was retrieved at very end. So we could have homogeneous or heterogeneous catalyst. 
their uh, detection is easy. One is uh, in other phase than reactant, hetero. The other one is in same phase as your reactant, homogeneous.